next episode I will be testing out fluid simulations using Blender Fluid and Blender Fluid add-on. So the add-on versions is the one that you you pay. Uh, Flip Fluids is actually really fast and really uh, user friendly. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of features, but we we also gonna be using Blender's own Fluid. So with a with a Flip Fluid. Um, as you already know, uh, you can just simply create domain and then you can turn an object into a geometry and then yeah, like, a, like a fluid, just tell it, make it into fluid and you can just bake. Oh, we, we have, first of all, we need to save it. So let's uh, save as quick test. This is the one that's using fluid, uh, flip fluid add-on. So it's a paid version and when we hit the bake button, it's gonna do the baking for us. So it's kind of like almost like real time, not fully real time, but I will, I'll be showing you also the fluid simulation that come with Blender. It's also, it's actually more like almost like a real time and it can work with the uh, geometry nodes as well. So let me show you. Okay, that's you see how how fast the calculation is. If I use something like a like a torus, for example, if I animate this using geometry nodes, oops, where is it? Oh my my monitor is too Oh I cannot see. Oops. Alright. Blender crashes, but I already save it. Let's recreate. What what did I do? Maybe I right click and hit a quick quick button. So if we reset everything, reset the bake. Let's create a a torus. And I will just create a geometry nodes. I will transform this geometry. My next YZ and use time. Plug in the frame into the Z, maybe. Okay, maybe the X. So it's moving around. It's rotating. Let's multiply this. So it's a bit slower. So we can also tell flip fluids add on. Just turn it into inflow. And with the inflow by default, if you see the bake, so by default it's kind of static. I think with the with the flip fluid, we need to go to the setting and turn on export animated mesh. Stop that. Reset the bake, and then bake once again. This time, yeah. While it's baking, you can see. The geometry nodes animations is being taken into considerations so the final mesh is being looked at and then yeah you can see uh, you can also turn on the object velocity to the inflow so if we reset the simulations increase the resolutions bake so 150 resolution is kind of like a medium resolution now it's higher resolution so it's gonna take longer to calculate but you can see the fluid is much better looking flip uh, with flip fluid you also uh, it comes with the materials and you get this material for free of course turned into turned into blood for example oh okay let's see Let's see, how, uh, let's see how it looks now if we turn on cycles and render yeah looking kind of nice still simulating and because this is like a, an inflow object it's gonna keep uh, building up the fluids until until the domain is full okay so that's flip fluid um, gonna start new and fresh this time I will be using blender's own um, simulations 
So flip fluid. Uh, oh, use this instead of flip fluid. Use the fluid box, and tell it to create a domain object. So this become the domain objects that we can scale. Whatever. Let's save this very quickly. Fluid. And if we create a new object like like a torus, create a fluid, we can tell it turn it into effector or flow. Let's try flow. By default, it's gonna be a smoke. With the Blender uh, fluid simulations, it's actually real time. Okay, it's almost real time. It's probably real time, unless it's really complex. Then it's gonna be a bit slower to calculate every frames. If I turn this into liquid and then refresh, go to the beginning of the frame, it's gonna render as fluid. If we, I think we need to enable something, the guides. So. Oh, we need to tell it this is like liquid objects. And then turn on the mesh, I believe. Yeah, now it's actually doing the remesh on the fly. So we have fluid. Okay, this is really low res. Uh, let's increase the subdivisions. A little bit better. We can also shade smooth. Okay, let's say 100 subdivisions. Okay, not bad. Let's start with 64. Yeah, you can see it's almost like real time. And the cool thing, of course, we can also use geometry nodes, as we can already see before. Transform. So we can rotate it. Maybe use yeah, use time again, frame. Too fast. Multiply this. Okay. And in order for this to work with the fluid, make sure the calculations of geometry nodes is on top of the fluid. And with the fluid now, we can tell it, okay, this is a flow, liquid flow, and you can turn it into inflow objects. And I believe it should work. Okay, yeah. So the fluid is working. We need to make sure that this torus is actually inside all the domain. So let's try using mesh to curve. Actually, curve to mesh and create our own torus. Basic stuff. But still pretty important. Okay. And our domain, of course. We can we can also tell uh, Blender. Okay, with our domain, just remove uh, the the back, the right, the left, and the front. So we are removing the side so it's just gonna collide with the floor but the flow is keep coming in so you can see uh, the torus is keep pumping up fluid while the fluid is escaping from the domain uh, side we actually can get rid of the top so it's just gonna collide with the floor yeah so we can do this indefinitely so yeah this is just the uh, super basic but still kind of something fun to try especially if you wanna you wanna test this on your own machine I'm testing it using uh, Mac mini m2 pro actually this is just the base model 199 eh, 1999 uh, yeah, it's almost like 2,000 Australian dollars. But you can see it's, uh, it's pretty solid, it's pretty fast. 
for maybe for like a teachers or students going like semi pro this is pretty good computer to do this kind of simulations let's try uh, increase the speed a little bit more so yeah we don't need to reset the bake you can see the simulation because it's the motion is a little bit fast maybe we need to increase the sub step sampling should be a little bit better yeah but anyway you got you got the idea just play around with this yeah it's gonna be slower flow type liquid smoke okay, just liquid inflow outflow um mesh we don't have volume right just we can increase the surface emission so if you want to have more fun maybe animate like geometry nodes objects moving around and then make make turn it into something that's uh, kind of like splashing the liquid so fluid effector collisions yeah you just need to animate this guy so the fluid is colliding with this guy so if you animate it left and right you're gonna get some cooler simulations increase the resolution divisions and now things a little bit now is the the resolution is higher so it's gonna take a bit slower but once it is inside the cache it's gonna be faster but now okay the machine is starting to struggle a little bit but still it's almost the first time it's running you just leave it you just go out for a coffee and then Come back to the simulations that's the thing with simulations you just you need to kind of bake it and be patient change the setting come back to the simulations if this is real time like in the game engine that's maybe yeah something that everyone dreams kind of dreaming of it needs to be like almost like real time anyway okay so that's fluid flip, flip fluid and fluid simulations using the Mac Mini M2 Pro machines I will try to make something that's a little bit more interesting than this but that's the basic uh, hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in I'll see you next time thank you bye